Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are fine. Today we are going to talk about e-procurement and how can it help the purchasing process for your online venture. Let us start with what is procurement. Procurement is actually the purchasing process of an online venture to get all the supplies that are needed from various companies. And this is a very important aspect to the supply chain. The reason behind it is because if there is a disengage between the supply chain and the procurement, problems such as out of stock, not delivered on time, and slow processing periods will happen to the organization when it actually try to engage with the customer. When talking about purchasing, there are five rights to purchasing. Purchasing at the right price, delivered at the right time, are of the right quality, from the right source. Why is it important? This is because when you're purchasing something from a supplier, you must get the right price that suits you. And you must be able to deliver on time so that your promises to your customer can be met. R of the right quality is to ensure that the promises that you make are actually met for your customer. Because if the product you yourself is getting is not of good quality, it can affect the overall end product. Of the right quantity is to ensure that you do not waste space but due to overstocking. From the right source means that you get the product that you are actually seeking for and not a clone or a copy or of great quality. Therefore, when you talk about e-procurement, you must talk about why does e-procurement became a very important factor in online venture. This is because the introduction of electronic procurement improves a lot and helps a lot for the organization itself. Therefore, the drivers to e-procurement are control, cost, process, individual performance, and supplier management. When you talk about control, why is it important for control to happen? Because why? If you have a unified system to actually procure the stuff you need for your organization, it can improve the process flow for your supply chain management. When it comes to cost, it lowers the cost for the organization because there's no waste and it's just in time to inform your supply chain. Talking about process, it actually simplifies the process and improves knowledge transfer between individuals to another individuals to update on your stocks. As per se, like for example for the process, individual performance is also about knowledge transfer. Informations are flowed not only from below but to above or to the other layers of the organization which reduces the disengage between each department. Supplier management means that you can actually keep track of the suppliers that you have and ensure that you get the best price from which supplier of your choice. However, implementation of e-procurement has its risk. Some of those risks are competitive issues, possible negative perception, data leakage on regards to the process to the competitors, and resistance to change. On the other hand, e-procurement can cause negative perception from your suppliers because why? Prices are reduced beyond their comfortable margin due to such options like e-auction. When the supplier has to go into a big war amongst each other, which they have to reduce their prices to a margin they are not comfortable with. Since the system is quite open, it means that data leakage can happen to your competitors as they sift through during the e-procurement session. Not only that, implementation of e-procurement can cause resistance from your employees to the change of due to its complexity in implementation. In conclusion, despite the risk that actually comes with e-procurement, a lot of online ventures are actually using e-procurement as a part of their daily business purchasing process. The reason behind it is because the driver itself is bigger than the risk itself. And the opportunities and advantage that e-procurement can give in order to actually connect your department together and improve your supply chain and how the processes works makes it actually a very very lucrative choice or option for your supply chain management. Therefore, now we will talk about three alternative models to e-procurement. The first one is one-to-many or you can call it sell side. The next one is many-to-one or you can call it the buy side. Finally, many-to-many -many, which you can actually call the neutral exchange. What is one-to-many? One-to-many is when you actually trade via the supplier's website. And this can actually help you to go through each of the website to see the options that is available for you. 
Though, the disadvantage of this is, is that the inconsistency of the web layout can actually confuse some of your employees when they are doing the purchasing order. When you talk about Manitou, one is that the suppliers goes to your website in order to see what are the opportunities that is given to them through your e-procurement system. Such of a system is that SAP, Oracle and so on where the company implements it directly from their website. The advantage of this is that you do not need to go and seek for the supplier of your choice. Instead, the supplier itself seeks for you. However, there are disadvantages to this method in a way that if, for example, your online venture is not that big, you cannot ensure that suppliers will look for you. The implementation itself is quite expensive as it requires you a lot of infrastructure to implement, especially for you if you are a startup. And other than that, many to one can also cause data leakage as people are accessing during the tendering of your e-procurement purchasing order. Some of the disadvantages of many to one is that it requires retraining, in which you have to retrain not only the suppliers but your employees in order to do or implement the system itself, therefore creating more costs for you. And finally, we will talk about many to many, in which you trade or you try to purchase through a intermediary or from a neutral exchange place such as Alibaba. The advantages of this is that there are a lot of options and you do not need to put or implement costs into your online venture. This is because the transaction itself has been consigned to another third party platform that provided the services for purchase and so on. Still, it can be a little bit confusing because all the options that are available and assurance can be a problem too due to the poor quality of delivery services or purchasing order system. Therefore, that ends the session for today. I know it's a short topic, but e-procurement is actually a part of supply chain management in order to improve the supply and demand for your customer. This is to ensure that you will never run out of stock when it's required to make with the purchase demand of your customer and can help you a lot in improving the integration of your system across multiple departments. I hope the take back that you get from this session will be great for you in regards to your online venture. Thank you very much and I hope you have a good day.